Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's the Cali Desert Thrifters, uh, back with another haul video. Um, if you like what you see, please subscribe below. Also give a thumbs up on the content if you are interested in uh, all the stuff that we're listing and going through and describing to everybody and everything that we're grabbing out in the wild and showing what we gather and all these different brands that we keep an eye out for as well that uh, we'll actually go ahead and make a good uh, investment on your money and uh, get a good uh, return on them. So I'm gonna get into a what sold video next because uh, we haven't done one yet. So give you an idea of like the month of December, what we've actually gone through and sold over the month. It was an amazing month for us compared to last year when we first started on eBay, which we added in on top of already selling on Poshmark. Um, also, I've been looking into getting a little bit more on Instagram and posting some shirts and some different uh, clothing items there as well to get a little bigger audience to look at some of the stuff that we've been coming up with lately. I've uh, been, been finding some really cool stuff compared to the other videos that we saw, uh, some additional uh, brands, but I'm going to get right into it and definitely some cool stuff that we found uh, this time around. A few things that we generally find are some blankets here and there. Uh, a good brand to look out for is San Marcos. Definitely found out about that from uh, part-time pickers from Matt. Learned about that brand. Uh, they do really well. They have like reversible prints on them um, with lions, tigers, uh, grizzly bears, some different animal prints. Uh, but they, they resell for a really good price. So it's definitely a uh, brand to look out for if you can find it. Um, they are a little heavy. But there are, you know, different shipping options out there to help people out with with the weight on some of those items. But very cool prints. Um, so we were able to find a few more blankets. So I'm going to show this first one here, which is really, really cool. This is a vintage Looney Tunes Warner Brothers Looney Tunes Blues throw blanket right here. And it's got everybody on it. It's got bugs. It's got Tweety. It's got Taz on it. It's got the big uh, Looney Tunes blues right there. And then on the bottom, we have the 1996 right there, Warner Brothers. But it's all stitched in there. There's a picture of Taz right there. Daffy's in there as well. Very cool blankets in really, really great shape. Uh, these do really well, the vintage ones. So somewhere in the vicinity of 30 to 40, hopefully on that one. This one's a little bit heavier style here, but uh, just like, just love the print. I'm always looking for a different band. Uh, memorabilia, very cool print right here. This is Iron Maiden. Just got a really cool print right there on the front. The skeleton graphic, very cool. It's really good size too. This is probably a good five feet across right here. Pretty good size. Print goes into the back. And this has got that really cool top right there. You can see that. And there's also the tag right here, which I was looking for. This is the Rug Barn right here. They sell a lot of uh, cool prints of uh, band items and this is really similar to an InSync blanket that we found a little while back. Uh, very cool, hopefully looking at like 25 to 30 for this one right here. Another great brand that we always like to find does really well for us it's cool born in the mountains this one is a cashmere style this is how i saw the back of it with that shield right there that's blue that's a really cool just two-tone it's a men's quarter zip up cashmere really cool color to it and for these with the long sleeve so the green and the brown right there like mixed together also, too, it's got this on this sleeve also. This is a uh, size extra large, and this is somewhere in the 40 to 45 range on this. 
Another good brand to keep an eye out for, though. We don't see that often out there that's in a good condition is, is Marmot. This is also a size extra large, men's. But this is the Polar Tech version. It's a silver color and it's got this really cool zip pocket on the sleeve. It's a long sleeve. It's got two zip pockets in the front right here. Just a really cool piece, really nice color. It's in really good shape also. It's got this big M logo on the back of the neck right there. This is a full zip. Getting in the 25 to 30 range on here. Always know there are gonna be some band shirts in here. Some vintage t-shirts also, but definitely love cool reprints as well. It's a really cool one right here. Definitely a big fan of this band. U2, Joshua Tree, very iconic album. This one is, I'm seeing the tag, so we just did a kind of list of approximate measurements on this shirt, but really cool piece. They just did a tour in 2017 through 2018 where they covered this album in its entirety in different, different places. So very cool shirt, probably in the uh, $20 range for this. Another cool shirt, just happened to look up and found just like the style of it. It's like this embossed cherries on the front of it. And this is a Barking Irons for Kings of Leon. It's a size medium, men's. And it's just got this really cool speed stripes on the side. And then it's got the follow will, the Roman numerals on the back right there. Just a really cool print, a uh, very popular style for for them or also for a fan or collection. Uh, and we're looking somewhere in like the 30, the comps do really well on this, 30 to 35 on this. This one I was really excited to find. Definitely a big fan of this band. Kind of saw the very front part of it. And this is the band Soundgarden. This is on a Gildan size small. Just a really cool print. Super unknown as the album. Just got a little bit of fading going on, a little bit of crack. It's got that, like, it's got that look. Definitely can tell it's a reprint. Not really sure what time frame it's from, but just a really cool, cool shirt. Even the reprints do really well. It's probably looking in the 20 to, 20 to 30 range on that. This was a cool print that I noticed as well. Big fan of the movie American Psycho with Christian Bale. It's uh, Hip to be Square was one of the songs that was inside of the uh, side of the movie from Huey Lewis in the News. This is a Fruit of the Loom size medium here. So it just kind of matches up with that as well as has a little bit of fading to it, but really cool print on that. Um, so look at somewhere in like the 15 to 20. Dollar range for those. This is one I just found recently, but it's got a really cool style. Definitely popular. Tie-dye is very in right now. This is a newer version. See that liquid blue is a size medium. Just this really cool tie-dye. Alice in Wonderland with the caterpillar smoking the hookah. Just a really cool piece. Just one-sided. Nothing on back, just the tie-dye, but it's a really cool print. Definitely very popular for this time frame. This uh, do really well. Somewhere in the uh, 20 to 25 range on that. Really cool print. This was one that I noticed and I have heard of this venue before. I haven't personally been there before, but I've heard a lot of great things about it. It's called Pepe and Harriet's in Pioneer Town. It's a really well known Music venue in the uh, Palm Springs, California area. It's a two-sided shirt. This cool cowboy look on the front. It's got a picture of it in the back right there. Another cool thing about this is this all-sport tag, if you're familiar with that. Definitely signifies well, where it's from, where it was assembled, the size on it. They make a lot of uh, band t-shirts as well. So very cool. This is a size extra large. I mean, it's been at that venue that's definitely into the music scene in California. Definitely like something like this or on the West Coast. Looking somewhere in like the 20 to 25 range on that shirt.
A uh, great brand for me that always does well and has done well in the past is, this is Hugo Boss. So size of denim jeans right here. These are a size 36 by 32. It's a really cool style here. Just a zip up here. It's got this like faded distressed look on the front right there. It's in really good shape. Also has not a whole lot of wear on the bottoms either. Look very clean. Yeah, comps seem to do pretty good on these. They're somewhere in like the 25 to 25 to 30 range on these. Um, a brand name that does pop up a lot, especially for older hip hop styles. And you'll hear it come up with uh, the rainbow sweaters as well. I've been lucky enough to find any of those, but definitely a few pairs of pants. And uh, these were a pair of shorts. These are the Australian brand Coogee. You can also see they always have these rainbow colored labels there as well. These are a size 40 right here. Pretty good size. They always have these really crazy like neon color blocks. It's all embroidered on here in the pocket with the different colors. It's a button fly as well. There's the brand on the back there. And it's got these different color block on the pockets are all embroidered on there. Very cool style. Definitely big in the 90s. Coogee. It's gonna do somewhere in the range of 20 to 25 on these. Very cool though. Um, this is a brand that I was able to come across. Uh, I've seen it before. Uh, for what I saw retail, it does it really, really well. It is Bunchetti. And that is a European size 38 right there. But it's just got this really cool tie in the front with these metal clasps right here. And then also the sleeves. It's got this wrap around, this really good detail, these bell sleeves that pop out. Almost like peplum style that wraps around as well, but just really, really cool. Seen some stuff that's similar on this brand do well. And also it's got some padding like right here in the sleeves. And it's a size Euro 38. I'm gonna do a little bit more research on this one, but from what I've seen, it's looking somewhere in the 35 to 40 range on that item, just based on the how the style is. Another good brand to keep an eye out for that does really well is, this is Woolrich. It's 100% linen, it's a skirt. It's got a cream color on it right there. Just pretty basic color. It's got a pretty good size slit on the side right there as well, but in really good shape. Good brand from what I saw on these, looking somewhere into the 15 to 20 range on this. Definitely a good brand to look out for sweaters, cardigans, jackets by Woolrich as well, or 100% wool. Do really well. This was a really cool find right here. Just gonna hold that up close. See those. Two Fs right there that are pushed together. That is Fry. This is just a super really cool intricate embroidered belt. And it says Fallen on there. It's got a little bit of fading going on it, but it's very, very intricate. Really cool style there. Also got some button closures on the back of this where you can open that up and adjust the sizing on there. But very, very cool. Even with the fading on there, it's generally do really well, anywhere in the uh, probably the 40 to 50 range on these. Well, I felt I had to get this one out. Definitely did find this, but I came across, but I'm a huge fan of this movie, The Big Lebowski, but I'm just definitely gonna show it. It's a picture of Walter on there. Don't roll on Shabbos, have you seen the movie? You know what I'm talking about, this one's going into my personal collection right here. Very cool shirt. I was able to crawl, uh, across this vintage purse. This is a, if you can see this, I want to say this right. This is a Merino Orlandi, made in Italy. 100% genuine leather. And it does have a little bit of wear on the bottom. Um, it's got a zipper clasp inside. The inside is in pretty decent shape. And it also has this, the strap is in really good shape. 
the zippers are. It's got this really cool logo right there also. And then on the front, with this embroiderment right here. It's uh, definitely vintage. These do really well from what I saw for comps. Just looking in the 50 to 60 range on this one. But all 100% leather, just really cool. Or just really intricate, good, great detail. Some uh, brand I've never seen before, but happy I scooped this one. I was able to grab this. This is a brand I haven't really seen before. Just saw the style, looked a little bit a little bit more trendy, a little bit cool. It's got a, some raw hem on it. It is called Someday's Lovin'. It is a size medium. If anybody knows anything about this brand, definitely comment below and let me know if you've seen this before, if you've uh, seen anything for it. It's got just really, really cool, just raw hem, large sleeves here that open up. It's a button down, it's got this real like distressed look. And then also on the bottoms too, it's got that raw hem on the bottom it's a really cool shirt it's a button down also this is a women's shirt um probably look in the 20 to 25 range on this another brand haven't really uh, seen a whole lot about it definitely looked at the comps on it as you always should while you're while you're out there sourcing because you never know what you're going to see out there this is called antic antic batik with a b it's got this little sticker that's kind of in there covering it up. It is a uh, extra small size 36. It just has this really, really, really cool boho hippie print all over it. It's in amazing shape. Just has this real cool detail. And all the way on the back, and it's got this little medallion on it as well that shows like the symbol on it. And then it's just got. It's really cool detail. Saw a few of these listed and even comps and solds. It's generally like it's a pretty good brand, somewhere in the 40, $40 range on that. And this was just a cool piece to check out. I saw it uh, on this older tag and it said made in the USA size medium and it says Allure or a lore. And it's just this cool Michelin that just says get a grip at a Michelin tire brand commercial. And it is a single stitch on both the sleeve and the bottom as well. And did look at some comps that were similar to this one. So this one's probably looking in like the 15 to $20 range on this item. We're able to come across another uh, couple uh, pairs of shoes. Uh, some different brands that we haven't seen before or we haven't uh, ever experienced, but definitely had to look up the comps on some of them and see what they sold for. We're able to grab a couple of nice ones. These ones are really, really cool. Just have a really cool design to them. These are Dan Posts. And these are super intricate and detailed with the stitching, red stitching all the way on the top part as well these hearts and this studded as well these pointed toes they're all genuine leather all the way across the board upper and lower really good shape on the bottoms as well just a little bit of sharpie mark right here but you can see the the labeling and everything and the stitching not a whole lot of scuffs on the bottom either but just really cool shoes these do really really well so the comps are looking in somewhere like the 60 to 70 range on these. This pair came across a few months ago and definitely been listing a lot of shoes lately and trying to keep up on that. So definitely been uh, trying to look for different brands and looking for, you know, obviously good deals on shoes, but looking, uh, looking for really good brands that, you know, that sell well and the comps are really well, the comps do really good. So these are a pair of Echoes, so European shoes. We also have the Gore-Tex tag right on the side there, and then also on the back by the pull tab. Echo as well, these are a men's size 44. They have a little bit of wear on the bottoms, but these are considered really, really nice, can be walking or outdoor activity shoes. 
They are equivalent to a men's size 10 to 10 and a half, but a great brand. These are also like super absorbent, very comfortable as well. These are we're probably looking at like the 40 to 50 range on these. Very cool shoes. These are another amazing pair we were able to come across. And these are a pair of Adidas. These are Ultra Boosts right here. These are the Core 3.0 Black version. So they do have a couple of little scuffs on both sides of the plastic there and a few spots on the bottom, but down below they have this uh, torsion system. A little bit of Sharpie on there, but really, really clean on the tread as well. Logo in the main front there. The fabric's in really good shape too. These are looking from comps. We're doing like the 70 to $80 range on these, even pre-owned. Really very, very popular style. That is gonna be it for this haul. Like I mentioned before, I got a few surprises that are gonna be coming up. We're gonna get into one of those here in a second, but just wanna keep you posted on the next two videos. We're gonna probably break it up into two parts. It's gonna be a what's sold for the month of December since we haven't done any of those before to show you what's working for us, what brands are selling, what kind of items we've been getting over the last month and what we've been selling to everybody else. And it's a good video to watch. We learned a lot in the last month or so before the end of the year. Um, and January's already been good to us. So do have a few more items that we're gonna get into, but down the road, it's gonna be a what's sold for the next two videos. And then we'll get back in and start doing the hauls as well and keep you posted on uh, what we're finding out there. This one I'm gonna grab out of the box. Super, super excited about this one. These are a pair of Doc Martens. These are the 1460 Pascal sequin boots that are black and silver. I'm gonna take them out of here for you and show you what they look like. Just an amazing style. These are really, really cool here. These are brand new in the box. Never been worn, brand new with tags. And they have this version where you can flip them and they have flip sequence and you can turn them into silver. I know you're mesmerized by that right now. I'm gonna do it one more time and just show you and just go right back down. There you go. They're black and then they're silver. Very, very cool. We just listed these today, and within a couple hours, they were sold full asking price. Amazing shoe right here. Definitely a, a brand to keep an eye out for is Doc Martens, but that specific brand and style uh, was sold out online, sold out in store. Uh, we're able to come across a pair, and they're going to be going to, uh, they're going to be getting shipped out to a different home. So thank you so much for watching. Once again, if you're just joining us or if you just saw what you saw before, subscribe below, comment below on anything that you've seen in this haul as well. The next couple of videos are going to be fun to watch and uh, we're going to get a chance to show you what we've been sold, what we've been selling in the last month, which is in December and we're already starting off good in January. So thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.